Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an introduction to solving equations with variables on both sides. Now, when we solve equations with variables on both sides, we want to look to get the variable on one side of the equation. So we just want the variable on one side. Then we can look to solve. Let's jump into our examples and see what this looks like. Starting with number one, where we have 5x minus 4 equals 2x plus 11. So we need to figure out what x equals. The first thing that we need to do, we need to get the variable so it's just on one side of the equation. Now we can do this either way. We can get the variable on the left or on the right. Either way will work. But my suggestion, look to avoid negatives as far as the variable goes. And we can do that by getting rid of the one with the coefficient that is smaller in value. So the number in front of the variable that is smaller in value. That's going to be 2x for number one. So let's get the variable on the left side only here. That means we need to undo or get rid of the 2x on the right side. That's a positive 2x. So the inverse operation would be to subtract 2x. So let's subtract 2x from the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So subtract 2x from the left side as well. Now on the right side of the equation, we have positive 2x and then minus 2x. So these 2x's cancel each other out and we are left with 11 on the right side of the equation. And then on the left side of the equation, we have 5x minus 2x. So we can subtract those like terms. That's going to give us 3x. And then we can bring down the rest of the left side here, so minus 4. So now we have 3x minus 4 equals 11. And that variable is on one side. We have it on the left side only now. And now we can solve. So we need to isolate that variable of x. And remember, we do that by using inverse operations. And we're going to go in the reverse order of operations. So we need to undo the subtraction first. What's the inverse operation of subtraction? Well, addition. So let's add 4 to the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add 4 to the right side as well. Now on the left side, we are subtracting 4 and adding 4. So these fours cancel each other out. We now have 3x equals, and then on the right side, 11 plus 4 gives us 15. So we have 3x equals 15. 3 times x equals 15. So we need to isolate that variable of x. So what's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. So divide the left side by 3. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by three as well. Now on the left side, we are multiplying by three and dividing by three. So these threes cancel each other out. X is now isolated. So we have X equals, and then on the right side, 15 divided by three gives us five. So X equals five. That's our solution. Now let's check that solution by plugging it in for x and seeing if it works. So let's come to the side here. We have five times five minus four equals two times five plus 11. Let's work through the left side first. So we have five times five, which is 25. 25 minus four gives us 21. Now on the right side, we have two times five, which is 10, and 10 plus 11 is 21 as well. So both sides equal 21, we are correct, x equals five. Let's move on to number two, where we have three y plus eight equals 
10y minus 6. So we have that variable of y on both sides. We need to get the variable on one side, and then we can look to solve. We need to decide which side of the equation we want the variable on. Like I mentioned earlier, either way will work, but my suggestion, look to avoid negatives as far as the variable goes. And we can do that by getting rid of the one with the coefficient that is smaller in value. We have a three in front of the variable and a 10 in front of the variable. Three is smaller in value, so let's get rid of the three y. Now that's a positive three y, so the inverse operation, subtract. So let's subtract 3y from the left side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract 3y from the right side as well. On the left side of the equation, we have a positive 3y minus 3y. So these 3y's cancel each other out. We now have 8 equals, and then on the right side, we can subtract those like terms. So 10y minus 3y gives us 7y, and then we can bring down the rest of the right side, so minus 6. And now we have 8 on the left side of the equation equals 7y minus 6, which is on the right side of the equation. So we need to isolate that variable of y. So we need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation is addition, so add 6 to the right side of the equation. That means we need to add 6 to the left side as well. Now on the right side of the equation, we are subtracting six and adding six. So these sixes cancel each other out. And now we have seven y equals, and then on the left side, eight plus six gives us 14. So now we have seven y on the right side of the equation equals 14 on the left side. So we have seven times y equals 14. We need the inverse operation. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So divide the right side by seven. That means we need to divide the left side by seven as well. Now on the right side, we are multiplying by seven and dividing by seven. So these sevens cancel each other out. Y is now isolated, so we have Y equals, and then on the left side, 14 divided by 7 gives us 2. So Y equals 2. That's our solution. Now let's check that by plugging it in for Y and seeing if it works. So we have 3 times 2 plus 8 equals 10 times two minus six. Let's start with the left side. So we have three times two, start with multiplication. That gives us six. And then we have six plus eight, which is 14. Now for the right side, so let's start with multiplication. 10 times two gives us 20. And then we have 20 minus six, which is 14. So we get 14 on both sides. We are correct, y equals two. So there you have it. There's an intro to solving equations with variables on both sides. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.